guys, it's Greyhound. The Fox End is a nice little series I will be doing that will talk about some more serious issues with Animal Jam, the community, certain members, or more positive videos, like what I would like to see in future updates, Animal Jam secrets and easter eggs, and some other cool stuff. Today's topic for the Fox Den is regarding a certain update in Animal Jam Play Wild that was originally brought up by Alien Jenna on Instagram. The focus on this video was cultural appropriation in Animal Jam's latest bundle with the recent update, the backlash in the AJ community, and what you can do to help. So what exactly is cultural appropriation? Well, according to Wikipedia, quote, Cultural appropriation is the adoption of an element or elements of one culture or identity by members of another culture or identity. This can be controversial with members of a dominant culture appropriate from the minority cultures. Example given would be the bundle that was featured in Animal Jam Play Wild. According to critics of the practice, cultural appropriation differs from acculturation, assimilation, or equal cultural exchange in that this appropriation is a form of colonialism. When cultural elements are copied from a minority culture by members of a dominant culture, and these elements are used outside of their original cultural context, sometimes even against the expressly stated wishes of the members of the originating culture, the practice is often perceived negatively. Cultural appropriation is considered harmful by various groups and individuals, including indigenous people working for cultural preservation, those who advocate for collective intellectual property rights to the originating minority cultures, and those who have lived or are living under colonial rule. Cultural appropriation can include exploitation of another culture's religious and cultural traditions, dance steps, fashion, symbols, language, and music. Those who see this appropriation as exploitive state that, cur that cultural elements are lost or distorted when they are removed from their originating cultural context, and that such displays are disrespectful or even a form of desecration. I hope I said that right. Please let me know if I said that wrong. Cultural elements that may have deep meaning to the original culture may be reduced to exotic fashions or toys by those from the dominant culture. Kirsten Johnson has written that, when this is done, the imitator, who does not experience that oppression, is able to play, temporarily, an exotic other without experiencing any of the daily discriminations faced by other cultures. The academic, musician, and journalist Greg Tate argues that appropriation and the fetishizing of cultures, in fact, alienates those whose culture is being appropriated. The concept of cultural appropriation has also been heavily criticized. Critics note that the concept is often misunderstood or misapplied by the general public, and that charges of cultural appropriation are at times misapplied to situations such as trying to move from a different culture or learning about different cultures. Others say that the act of cultural appropriation, as it is usually defined, does not meaningfully constitute social harm, or the term lacks conceptual coherence. Additionally, the term can consider arbitrary limits on the intellectual freedom, artist self-expression, reinforce group divisions, or promote a feeling of enmity or grievance rather than of liberation. As summed up, cultural appropriation is when a group decides to market or profit off of another culture or appropriate in a culture that they're not involved in. They often do this miserably and result in a lot of misinformation about a culture as well as it being offensive for the people who are in this culture. Animal Jam also had this situation with the whole Hedra scandal in the Animal Jam classic, but that's for another video. Let someone know if you'd like to see a video about the whole headdress and the head feather Animal Jam classic scandal. What did Wildworks do regarding cultural appropriation? This week was Animal Jam Play Wild's sixth birthday, so they decided to celebrate with another domesticated animal and a bundle that caused a lot of backlash in the Animal Jam community, especially the Irish and the Scottish players of the community. The animal that they use in the bundle compared to the accessories are two completely different cultures from two different countries. The Scottish Fold Cat is a breed originating from, you guessed it, Scotland. The two accessory bundles featured, however, are actually from Irish origins. The accessories set also had a large amount of misinformation and a lack of understanding in the culture, and the fact that they are profiting off of it is at least 80 times worse. Please know that I'm American, but I will cover this topic to show what is wrong, as well as support my friends in different cultures, races, etc. This channel is a safe space for everyone, as long as you're nice to each other and not a problematic individual. Time for the nitty gritty of the situation and to count all of the red flags. Red flag number one, the very poorly drawn Caroline Jean Cross. I probably pronounced that wrong, so any of my Irish or Scottish General Jam friends, please let me know if I pronounced that wrong. According to Ireland Before You Die, or simply IB4YD, quote, It is said that the Carolingian cross represents unity, balance, and the eternity of God. End quote. It's basically like the Irish Catholic cross. 
Heck, you could Google Irish Catholic Cross right now and the Carolingian Cross will pop up. Compared to the Carolingian Cross source from IB4YD, the one used on the bundle is just... <sighs> Yikes. It's really poorly drawn. Red flag number two. The obvious bagpipe pendant. Okay, okay, first of all, I had to do a little research on this, and these pipes that they use here are called the war pipes, the highland pipes. So take a nice little guess where they're from. If you guessed Ireland, you're correct. Scotland and Ireland are two completely different countries with two different histories. Alright, red flag number three is the name of the bundle. Wildworks is known to have the habit of giving fun names to bundles using Animal Jam Play Wild, but this one is kind of bad. So the name of this bundle is Scottish Folds Bonnie Bundle. Let's look this one up actually. But it apparently means beauty. Huh, it's learn something new every day. Still doesn't excuse the fact that they're trying to mash together two completely different cultures. Red flag number four. It actually has three more bonus red flags in it, so I guess the count is five, six, and seven. All right, so what did they do? Well, they used buffalo plaid, which isn't plaid, it's considered tartan. Number two in this. They don't call it a tartan, but rather a dress. Number three, it's not a skirt, it's a kilt. Ugh, Jesus, Animal Jam, you really f***ed up this one, didn't you? So what are my overall thoughts on the situation? Well, AGHQ did not make a wise choice while designing this bundle and did not do their research well. They primarily focus on making a profit, which is what a lot of companies do. <sighs> I'm not even gonna get into a head first dive onto that situation, because I am not going to discuss that. Wildworks needs to do more bundles that do not cause problems like this and whole cultural appropriation issues. And you know, maybe more updates to Animal Jam Classic would be nice, and no more domesticated animals to Animal Jam Play Wild. Except corgis. I would really like corgis. So what can you do to help with this situation? Well, first of all, don't buy the bundle or pieces of the bundle. If you already bought it and were unaware of the situation beforehand, I forgive you. You can also share this video with friends, as well as educate yourself about the differences between Irish and Scottish cultures, history, etc. You can also tell Animal Jam that you did not like this bundle, and who knows, maybe they'll take it down if we're lucky. And that brings us to the end of the video! You made it! So please feel free to like and subscribe, you know, maybe hit the bell and visit my Instagram. Until next time, take care and have a good day.